Litter reuse is a practice that can be used between batches. It involves windrowing or heaping used litter into piles between batches, so it can undergo a natural heating process, which can achieve the temperatures needed to reduce poultry and food safety pathogens and contribute to pathogen die-off. Following shed depopulation, litter is pushed into heaped piles or windrows in the grow-out end of the shed. Any cake litter or large clumps should be broken up or removed as they can stop piles from heating evenly. The floor of the shed should be clean and dry. Windrows and piles should be left for at least five days, during which time they can reach temperatures of 55 degrees Celsius. Piles don't need to be wet down or turned to reach this temperature. Once this process is complete, litter is re-spread evenly over the shed floor. A partial shed reuse is the most common way this is done, where only the grow-out end of the shed uses the reuse litter, and fresh bedding is spread in the brooding end. It's important the floor is even for better management of drinker and feeder heights during the batch. One of the biggest concerns with litter reuse is the elevated ammonia levels, especially during brooding. Reused litter typically starts with a higher pH than fresh bedding. This combined with high temperatures, high humidity and low ventilation rates during brooding can raise ammonia levels. Ventilation is the key to keeping ammonia levels in the shed at desirable levels. From the time piles are pushed up, to when the litter has been re-spread, the shed should be ventilated to remove ammonia and moisture released from the litter. This can be through opening side curtains or mini vents, together with continuously running fans. Once the shed is preheated for brooding, ammonia levels can quickly rise again. Managing moisture levels by turning litter and increasing ventilation before chick placement can help to ease this problem. Some commercial litter treatments claim to reduce ammonia production in reused litter. Their results are variable and should not be a substitute for good ventilation and litter management practices. Reusing litter is an option that does have its benefits and challenges. It can be as good or better than fresh bedding when it's heaped and windrowed and is managed to reduce ammonia and moisture levels. Good litter management practices are needed regardless of the litter material used for your flock. If considering litter reuse, always follow your company's procedures.